Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video, guys. And uh, this time, this is on another grocery haul. And uh, guys, you know how we do. That's uh, let's jump right into it, man. First of all, guys, I want to tell y'all about the um, <laughs> Walmart got a good deal going on with the King for the King for Choco, the original ones. Uh, these are on sale now at Walmart, guys, for five dollars for this big, huge bag of chocos. Cannot beat this price, man. Five dollars, and I had to grab another bag today. I already got two bags, you know. Being they still five dollars, you know, I just went on and grabbed another bag before they go off sale. And normally these codes run anywhere from like ten, twelve, fourteen dollars, you know. So, um, guys, I'm telling you, getting your heads up now. Y'all about to get to Walmart and grab these codes while they're $5. I'm telling you. And matter of fact, the lighter fluid right there by them, they only like $2.50, something like that. So, I bought the lighter fluid, too. All right? That's the first thing I bought when I was in Walmart. It's the first thing I put in my cart was the charcoals. Okay? And what next? I got the soda right here on sale at Piggy Wiggly. This was like 89 cents. And I got several of these. I think I got about six Coca-Colas. And uh, several more sodas. But you know, one of them need to show them soda. And uh, yeah, I got about six of those. At Walmart right here, I picked up a bag of flour. I think this was like a dollar and, what was it, dollar and 53 cents. Not mistaken. Okay, next. Picked up a, a box of cheap cereal. This is marshmallow. What glutters and basically this right here this something so this made by hospitality uh this is something like lucky charm cereal they just as good man i had them before they are delicious and uh you know i love to switch my cereal up. i don't eat the same cereal too much guys y'all know me next thing i picked up big bag of dorito guy i'm about to make some kind of dip uh tomorrow I'm going to make a deal with the Rotel right there. As you can see the original Rotel. And I'm going to make a dip for these. And uh, I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to cook the hamburger. And I think it's uh, got the Velveeta cheese in there. You know. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to come back and show you guys what I'm having. And I'll show you the cheese in just a minute. But anyway, these were two fifty dollars at Walmart. And if I don't want all Doritos, I grabbed a bag of these right here too, guys. These were $2 at Walmart. This is the regular tortilla chips. I'm a, I got these for my Rotel right there too. I'm going to make a dip. I'm going to dip them too, you know. Gel one tastes the best is the one I'm going to go with. Y'all know me. All right, next time I pick that, guys, I got some of these a bag full of chips. These are the crab chips right here. God, these are so delicious. I'm trying to tell you guys, if you never had these before, I highly recommend you get these, the UTZ, the crab chips. Man, I'm telling you, man, you guys will be glad I put you on these. Matter of fact, I ate a bag. They're so good, man. You can't resist them, man. They're they delicious. They're made by UTZ. You no, know, UTZ makes some good chips anyway, guys. Uh, also, I got these. It's a couple bags of the UTZ Red Hot Potato Chips right here. These are delicious, too. If you never had these, guys, I highly recommend them. You get these, too. Three for a dollar at Piggy Wiggly. Um, you can basically find them anywhere. But um, mainly, I see them is at the Piggy Wiggly store. So that's why I scooped them up there. All right, moving on right here. There's some more. UTZ chips right here, guys. This is the plain potato chips. I grabbed a couple bags of these. Okay. Also, guys, they got the, um, the UTZ salt and vinegar ones. These are delicious, also. And uh, UTZ makes some pretty, some real good chips, man. I'm telling you, good popcorn too. Matter of fact, I grabbed a bag of, uh, well, not the UTZ, but there's the Wise popcorn right here. White cheddar. This is 50 cents. Can't beat that. And it's pretty good too, guys. Alright. Another thing. I grab here. A couple packs of these uh Roman noodles. This is um chicken flavor. Picante. P 
picante chicken flavor. And um, just checking them out. I never had these, but uh, these are supposed to be really spicy. Hot and spicy. These hot. And um, just find out what's up with them, man. All right. Not a big fan of noodles. Too much starch, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, I eat them every now and then. The noodles will run your blood pressure up. Guys, stay away from too many uh, oodle noodles. All right. Moving on, man. Uh, I bought a big case, big jug of water right here, guys. This is a, I think it's a four-gallon water. I picked it up. This was on sale for like $4. Uh, pretty cool jug. That's why I got it for the jug, basically. I could drop my quarters and dimes and nickels and stuff in there. I'm going to let it fill up to the top right here. And then carry it to the bank and cash them in. See how much money I have. Probably about $1,000. <laughs> just save up some chain, man. That's basically why I bought the jug of water. I just wanted to put change in it. I'm going to drink the water. But soon after I drink it, I'm going to start putting change in it. All right. Now moving on here, guys. I got... um. Now, this is a really good seasoned salt. This is the Larson's, the original. Now, this is a real potent, powerful seasoned salt, guys. Now, I'm telling you, if you never used this before, try this, man. This is some powerful, potent seasoned salt. It really does a great hell of a job seasoning your food. As you can tell, it's kind of dark color seasoned salt. And uh, in my opinion, this is about one of the best seasoned salts in the game. Some of you know, sea and salt work good, but it doesn't really give it that deep, rich season. This stuff gives a rich, deep season, you know. So, y'all see this brand? Go for this brand. This is a really good season salt. All right. Moving on to the next. Okay, let me get some of this stuff out of your way, guys. Uh, I picked up and Piggy Wiggly. It was a big, nice side pack of pork chop right here. This pork chop was uh, $3.42. Okay, grab that up today. All right. Next thing I picked up, guys. Oh, uh, got it. The hamburger was on sale, man. Uh, nice big pack of hamburger here for two dollars and eighty-four cents. Boy, that was a hell of a deal on that hamburger. It used to be like five or six dollars a pack. So it's a big deal right there. All right, right here inside, thick these packs in. How big they are. I got this pack right here for $2.78 today. Can't beat the deal. Now, the thing about Piggy Wiggly is sometimes you go there, the exact same packs of hamburger will be like 6 and $7 a pack. On certain days you go there, you can get these packs for like $2.50 to $3, $2.80, $2.69, $2.75 and stuff like that. So you got to catch these people on certain days, you know, to get these big packs of pork chop that, I mean, hamburger that cheap. All right, here's a pack of um, mild pork sausage. And uh, we got this. We're going to put this in our dip. Try, I'm going to come back and show you guys the dip that we're using for the tortilla chips down here. And uh, we're going to ground the uh, fry the sausage and put that up in the dip. In the Rotel. And um, let's see what's up with that. All right. All right, next, guys, here's another pack I was just telling you guys about hamburger. This is a big pack of hamburger right here for $2.76. $2.76, man. I'm trying to tell you guys now, y'all can see how big and thick this pack of hamburger is. Now, the same as that pack, <laughs> probably in the next three, four days, the same pack of hamburger will be in the pig for about 6 or $7. You know, that's how their prices go up on the hamburger. Some weeks is down. But I'm glad I caught it today while the price was down. But like I said, it's the exact same pack. It'll be $6 a couple of days from now. $2.76. You cannot beat the price, man, for that big pack of hamburger. All right, moving on. Here's the, uh, the block of Valvita cheese I'm telling you about, guys. I use this for the dip. And with the Rotel right here. And I'm going to hook that up and put that together. And I think this this block, of, this block of cheese is really expensive, guys. I think this block of cheese was like $5. $5. 
for one block of cheese. I hope this cheese is good. I paid five dollars for this block of cheese. Just to make this, put it in the, with the rotel and the tortilla chips and the hamburger, gonna make a dip. All right, let's move on to the next. Is that is that Valvita cheese ain't good? That block ain't good. I never buy it again. Not for five bucks on. Some of us seven, depending on the size of the block. All right, right here, guys. A big thick pack of pork chop right here. Got this a good deal today for three dollars and thirty-seven cents. Can't beat that, man. Look how thick that pack of pork chop is. All right, can't beat the price on that. Hands down on that one, man. And right here, I just grabbed a cup of the grizzly. Yeah, the guzzler, guzzler juices right here. Um, Island Punch right there. Here's another one right here. This is the um, this is the, Alp the Alpine Freeze Guzzler with vitamin B. Grab that. They're pretty good, man. Especially get them good and cold. All right, once this is what I've been hollering by. I got this can of Rotel, guys. This is the one I'm gonna put in, make my uh, dip with. I got this at Walmart for two dollars a can. This is basically just diced tomatoes and green chilies. Chili peppers, I guess what that is. And it's original rotate. Alright. $2 at Walmart, man. Okay, moving on. I got this big, big sweet honey barbecue sauce. As you can see, that's a big, huge baller. I got this for a for a dollar and ninety-seven cents at Walmart. And man. I went crazy when I saw this. Like, ooh, man, look at that big, huge ball of stuff for a dollar ninety-seven cents, which I thought was a great deal. Sweet honey. All right, guys, couldn't pass that one up. It's a big ball of stuff. All right, moving on here. Guy got uh, packs of steaks, three dollars and sixty-two cents. Uh, pretty good deal on that. Here's another pack of steaks right here, guys. This is $3.44. Big steaks, too. Boy. Look how big them things is. All right. Can't beat that. Next, guy, I just had to get these. I fell in love with the uh, the cube steaks right here, guys. Uh, these be pretty pricey, though, for the big looters they are. As you can see how small them steaks is. Uh, these are $3.89. And uh, these steaks are not that big, but cube steaks are really good. They're good in the oven. They're good on the grill. Uh, they're just good way over, you know. They are delicious and tender. These are beef cube steaks, man. They're delicious. But they're a bit pricey, but they're delicious. All right, let's move on. And right here, I got another pack of the cube steaks. This was $3.41. And, um... <laughs> like I said, guys, the Q State, delicious, boy, I'm telling you, uh, can't hardly beat these. Like I said, they're good on the grill, they're good in the oven, cut you some onion across them, a little salt, a little black pepper. Boy, you could hook them up with gravy and white rice. they good, man, I'm telling you. If you never had them, try them out, cube steaks. All right, let's move on to the next all right here okay guys i got some more hamburger see them big pack big thick pack of hamburger right there i got that for two dollars and 74 cents can you believe it two dollars and 74 cents see how big that pack see how that thing hunked up about to bust the pack see that 274 man can't beat the price all right, moving on here. It's another pack of hamburger. Nice big hunked up pack of hamburger right here. Can't beat the price, man. $2.68. Can't beat it. Like I said, this, these prices, this ground beef ain't going to stay like this. This hamburger going back up to $6 and $7 a pack. So, why is $2.68, $2.75, and $2.80, and $2.90, and stuff like that? You about to grab it up, guys, if you're near a Piggly Wiggly. Highly recommend you go up in there now. Get this cheap hamburger. All right, let's move on to the next. Now, guys, this was a bit pricey right here to me. Now, all right, guys, I paid $4.70 for this little bitty pack of chicken. Now, these little wing yet things, I guess the chicken like this always kind of pricey. We will cook these up with the dip. And in my opinion, these chicken like this be a little bit too expensive. 
That's why I don't buy it too much. Because I ain't paying no four and five dollars for these little bitty pieces of chicken. Even though they be good, but it's too little for my money. Alright. <laughs> hey guys, it's too little for my little cash, man. I ain't got to be spending money on a little bit of piece of chicken like this right here. Alright, look at here. Three dollars and ninety-five cents. Now look at that little bit of pack of chicken. A little bit of drumsticks and stuff is in this thing. Ain't no way I'm finna be spending four dollars on a little bit of piece of chicken. Well, one person basically eat this whole pack by itself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't down for that, man. Mm -mm. That's too high for me. Y'all won't see me buying too many little bit of pieces of uh, drum yet, drumlets like this right here and wing yes. No way, Jose. A little bit too pricey for me. All right, guys. And um, I got a cucumber right here. I got this out of Walmart for a dollar. So I'm like that. And I uh, guess that's about it, guys. Um, I got some other y'all got to stay tuned. I got a uh, like a Dollar Tree haul coming up. Y'all just stay tuned for that. Like I said, guys, get to Walmart, grab up them cheap chocos, them King for chocos on sale for five dollars a bag, big bag, and they got a lighter fluid right nearby. For two dollars and fifty cents, guys, get to Walmart, grab these codes up. Why they on sale? Cause you know they going back up. About to go on to Walmart right now. If you near buy one, and grab you up some of these codes. Them chocos is priced just right for them big huge bags they got up in there now. All right. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. And once again, like I said, guys. I am not about to pay no four and five dollars for a little bit of packs of chicken like that. There ain't no way. Now I'ma tell you guys, you ain't gonna see me buying too many little bit of packs of chicken like this right here no more. Ain't no way. They too high in my opinion. Think I'm gonna pay a four dollar for a little bit of chicken? You can eat all this chicken by yourself. So sure can. I ain't getting my money for a little bit of mess. I like that big stuff. I paid three, four dollars, so I want a big pack of something like a pack of steaks or something. All right. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I want to thank all my viewers and my subscribers for watching my videos. And, guys, in the negative comments, you know, we'll just block you out. We're going to keep on doing what we do anyway because this, this is what we do. And we're used to doing it. All right. So, guys, take care. Get out there, pick you up some of them goods. You no, know, go to Walmart, go shopping, go to Piggy Wiggly, get you some of them cheap meats, get you some of that cheap hamburger, them cheap steaks. And um just lay back and chill, man. Well, anyway, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> got my plate, got stuff on my plate here for, for all that food. But anyway, guys, until next time, be safe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, you too. Go shopping now. Don't forget to go to Walmart get them cheap coats. Five dollars a bag, lighter fluid on it, two fifty. All right. Peace out, you too.